Hello, everybody, and welcome to Foxborough, Massachusetts, here on the Sega Sports Network. It's the preseason, football fans. Time to take off that suntan lotion and put on that face paint. I'm Dan Stevens, along with Peter O'Keefe. Well, Peter, who should we be watching? Don't overlook Charles Johnson, a tough and gifted receiver. Johnson looks to have completely battled back from an injury-plagued season in 99. Watch him to make the most of his opportunities today and help to keep drives alive. All right, and how do you think his team stacks up? Well, the Patriots feature some big-name players on defense, and they haven't exactly lived up to their billing. It's put-up or shut-up time for this defense. If they don't find a way to get things done this season, heads may roll. The Rams are coming to face them. Who will be key for their team? Pay close attention to Marshall Falk. Named the NFL's most valuable player and NFL Offensive Player of the Year in 2000, he seems to have a nose for the end zone. He proved this last season, scoring an unbelievable 26 times. And how is his team overall going to do in this matchup today? A lot has changed since the Rams made their way to the Super Bowl, Dan, but this is a team that can still beat you week in and week out. While it may not be a cakewalk this season, failing to take this team seriously is a big mistake. Thanks, Peter. We choose heads. Heads is called. The Rams will receive, and we're about to get underway. Vinatieri gives the signal, and we're ready to start. It's away. Fly gets it deep. The 25. The 35. 26. Makes the tackle, but that was a great return. Some nice open field running there. They would definitely like to score on this drive right here. There's not enough time left for mistakes. Ball at the 39-yard line. Warner drops back. Throws. Again with 19. Ernie Conwell hobbles this one, but manages to keep his hands on the football. Nice hands there to keep possession. Peter, you have to appreciate the concentration he had on the ball. That's what allowed him to make the catch. Absolutely. Ball on the 42. Conwell sets up off the left tackle. Warner will throw again. Throws. The pass is incomplete. Ty Law managed to make sure that he was positioned between the QB and the receiver on that baby. There was no way that was going to be a completion. 22 seconds on the clock. They will bring up third and long. Third and nine. The Rams have their tight end left. Warner fades back. Fourth and long coming up. It's the end of the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Oh, 
right, one on. minute on the game clock. Four comes in and will punt for the first time this game. Not a good punt. Buckley gets it off the bottom. Safety! Vinatieri lines up, signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. It's off. Fly has it. The 35. The 40. Rutledge makes the tackle on the return. First down, Rams. Well, if they can score on this drive before the half, right. it could put them in the lead, which is a, a really big boost going into halftime. The clock reads 46. Warner drops back. Conwell was the intended receiver incomplete. Tony Conwell had it dead to rights, but couldn't make that catch. He was in good position in the middle there, but as you say, he just maintained ball control. He did not make those catches. Malloy hammers them after a couple of yards. Only yielded a couple on that play, and they'll have a ways to go to move the chains. It's third and about seven. the flats, the 25, the 15, the 5, huge play, tacking on the extra yards after that nifty catch, first down, the Rams take their first time out, the Rams, after the big pass last play, will have a first down, hmm, think someone's a little eager to put some points on the board, Dan? and adds three to the score. Jeff Wilkins chips in a nice short one. See? No worries. I think he used the pitching wedge on that one, Peter. <laughs> you joke, but can you imagine missing a gimme like that? I'd never want to be a kicker. The Rams' lead is now right. stretched, but still within a single score. Five, zero. Lucas will kick this one away. Ooh, nice kickoff. Redmond catches it in the end zone. The 25. Young is in on the stop. Very, very nice return. And I'll tell you, he made a few people miss their tackles and added on the yard. J.R. Redmond is going to make a nice return on this one. Watch this. He got it, and now let's watch the magic. Peter, he chews up a ton of yards. He went down the field really pretty effortlessly. Yeah, it's all about making key blocks for the return man. He got a few needed, and then it was all talent after that. They would definitely like to score on this drive right here. There's not enough time left for mistakes. Wilkins sets up and will kick it away to start the third quarter. There's the kick. 
Redmond catches it. The 20, the 30. <laughs> makes the tackle, but that was a great return. Some nice open field running there. Biggest drive of the game right here, Dan. They can put this one away if they somehow get into scoring range. Bledsoe drops back, sits in the pocket, throws, gets the end of 22. All on the 43. Brown, wide right. Bledsoe will throw it in, throws, he's tackled, and that's his second catch of the afternoon. Drew Bledsoe took a risk there by throwing that pass, but it paid off. Let's take a look. Oh, there's the conclusion. Yeah, like you said, Peter, a uh, big risk throwing into double coverage like that, but uh, this time it paid off. Ball at the 24 yard line. Brown, wide right. Bledsoe fades back, sits in the pocket, throws, fumble, the Rams have it. Number 58 really used his awareness there. This is great presence of mind. There, now he's got the ball. Yeah, great job getting possession, Peter. Everybody's happy down there. Especially the defensive coordinator. He's ecstatic. Look at him. This drive will wrap it up for them. Well in control of this game, Dan. They just need to pound it out and take time off the clock. One minute on the game clock. Warner drops back. Close! Gained of 18. He's going to have to take his line out to dinner. They've, they've kept the defensive pressure away all day. 52 seconds on the clock. Ball lines up left. That was designed to go just right of his center, but he tried to venture out on his own and got nowhere. you got to follow your blocking pattern, Dan. The clock is at 45. It's the third and long. Only yielded a couple on that play, and they'll have a ways to go to move the chains. The Patriots take a timeout. That's their final one. It's third and about seven. Fantastic pickup to move the chains. 